When Forms Come Alive is an exhibition that spans a period of more than 60 years, and it charts a flow of ideas across three generations of artists, all of whom make work that seems to be full of life, movement, and explores irregular, complex forms. Forms that are surprising and unpredictable, that are energizing and engaging. This is one of the few pieces in When Forms Come Alive that actually moves, and it was inspired by the way certain flowers open and close in response to the light of a day. One of the amazing things I think about forms is that their movement, their sense of mobility and motion, isn't just a physical thing. It also has to do with the way forms constantly make us think of other forms. This also reminds me, say, of the propulsive movement of luminescent jellyfish. And I'm sure if you look at this, you'll think of other things that it reminds you of. I'm staring on the opposite wall at an amazing piece by Michel Blasi called Bouquet Final. But there's absolutely no sense of finality at all about this work. These incredible foam forms made from simple bubble bath cascade down from the scaffold in this amazing arabesque of sinuous curves and rolling waves. This is something I definitely recommend trying at home in the safety of your bathtub, but you'll need a good aerator to get this kind of effect. It's slowly changing throughout the day, and I think in bringing this sense of movement and transformation to sculpture, these artists want to connect us to the incredible liveliness and diversity of form in the world around us, particularly with these works in the world of nature and natural phenomena. This amazing sculpture by Tara Donovan is made out of a very simple material, mylar. She's taken die-cut circles of mylar, this shiny foil-like material, and folded them into these floral-like bouquets. But there's hundreds of thousands of individual pieces of mylar in this work. We're generally used to talking about things that have straight lines or predictable curves. Works like this seem to have a kind of unpredictable and totally surprising way of organizing themselves. And so they require us to think and to experience them in a very different way. This mylar material also reflects the light very intensely, and your experience of the work is constantly changing. And that's also part of the sense of movement and exploration that this show about forms invites you into, is to discover for yourself what this changing, ever-transforming experience of sculpture is like.